Done with Anthem. Big five time. Starting with The Last of Us. I think the trailer was very nice. Um, I think as as because half the point of The Last of Us is story, it did that job well. I think seeing where Ellie is, that little small splash of what Joel's up to, how they said like, oh, your pop worries about you yeah, on days exactly. like this. And it's very clearly he has it's a really high It's really nice up... to know that he's still around. Yeah. And yeah. He very clearly has like a high up role in this organization or, or community that they're at right now. Yeah. Um, a, a romance story for Ellie is going to be interesting. I'm, I'm really, what I'm really happy about with that is that they, that they actually like, they're making it part of the premise. They're putting it in trailers. But they're making it explicit. Like they're not doing any of this. I. Uh, the like, lesbian. Look at us. May, maybe, maybe lesbian. Yeah, yeah. Maybe exactly. lesbian shit. Like they established relatively concretely in the DLC before yeah. that she was like a burgeoning young teenage lesbian. Exactly. And that in this one they're just like, no, guys, yeah, she's lesbian. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not. It's not the extreme of each side. It's not. It's not the bottom where it's like she might be. I don't know. Yeah. It's for you to decide. You or the max like. She's fucking lesbian. Praise us, but it has Praise. no point to the story it's, at all. Exactly. So it's just it's just important, and her, the fact that she's lesbian has no relevance. But the fact that she likes somebody does. Yeah. And she just happens to be lesbian. No, exactly. Like it's not about it's not about her identity. It's it's about her as a character. Like that's yeah. a, the, that's the problem with so, so often is that these developers um, will pare down uh, these characters of other sexual orientations to just being that sexual orientation, and that's what it's not is nice to see, especially because. You know, Ellie's important at this point. I feel like that's part of yeah. why we, we get a more uh, fully fleshed out character. Ellie was already such a uh, such a character as as like a as a child, um, and younger, and like wh where like romance plots aren't really relevant. Um, that they can build off of that and not have to, not like someone says in the fucking writing room like what if they're lesbian and then everyone's like well I guess we write a lesbian character like yeah. no they wrote Ellie they wrote a, and yeah. now they're making Ellie lesbian exactly. in this right and so just, like just because that happens three dimensional happen. we're getting a three dimensional yeah. romance and that's rare enough in video games and in stories um and I like that about the trailer even though if I felt like that part went on a little. That was a weird thing to lead with, for sure. It was like... I just don't like seeing anyone kiss in video games because I <laughs> yeah, hate yeah. models. Yeah, like, 3D totally. models look so weird dumb, kissing. Dumb, dumb, dumb. Uh, also, sex. I really hope that they don't sex. Sex is fucking weird. No, not, yeah. not, and not because, again, not because lesbian sex, but because no game, game has ever done <laughs> sex well. No, no absolutely not. Uh, but they're... They, they started it off with this, this very, you know tame story session where it's like this would be cool like halfway through the game but to lead a trailer with i don't know because then like then after that they went into her like slitting the guy's throat which is neat i uh, i do like, i do like that it was calmer like at first I, I feel like the like the brutal combat shit uh -huh. like is better coming after something than like busting into maybe personally but like i, I feel like, like it lessens it lessens I the feel, impact i i think getting someone's adrenaline adrenaline pumping with like fucking high stakes action and then just like Oh, oh, like at the peak, no. switching to something else that, that's no, like totally, time totally. really catches their attention. I'm just, I'm just saying, like, like they, sh they, I don't think they should have like popped into the combat, but having like a, like an environment, a sweeping environment shot or something, sure, classic totally. way, yeah, I agree like, like, and then, and then like going down into a place, um, and they could have done something like she picks up whatever and she's like, all right, I got it, I can get back now, and then they switch back to the community yeah. that she's supposed to be going back to, kind of thing. I totally agree. Uh, and one thing, another, like, a, the, the last thing I really disliked was the absence of the other 50% that makes Last of Us special being the zombies. Yeah. There was yeah. zilch. None of it. That we have not seen one since it's, like, Like, we were talking about with fucking, um... Metro. Metro, dude. Yeah. And same problem with fucking, uh, uh, like, like, Walking Dead, like, sometimes is, yes, people are a, a better story... Like they, they they make for better stories. They make for better background. They make for better settings. Um, zombies don't have stories. No. You know they don't have personalities. Uh, but they're not what's in real life. And I want to see those. I want to see these zombies, especially because Last of Us. They're not technically. Oh, I mean they are zombies. Yeah. Uh, but they're not. You know the regular. They're, they're not standard they're, zombies. Yeah. They're, 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 they're interesting. Different design. Yeah. They're interesting designs, and I want to see that. That's what. I want to fucking. I'm, I'm a big baby. Exactly. I just like see that's it. the thing, dude. Like we trust Last of Us because Last of Us was Last of Us One was so fucking good. Yeah. But 
like it's still a zombie game. Yeah. <laughs> and, and like you gotta you gotta prove shit to me. The when people you're making combat a was game. not my favorite part of Last of Us, and not even by a fucking close long shot. It was yes. the stealth zombie section. Exactly. The combination of stealth and zombie, like not hiding from people, hiding from fucking zombies, who are like. They're not scary because they're going to kill you. They're scary because they're fucking scary. Because yeah. they're fucking zombies. Yeah. And they're clicking around. So that's that's what I wanted to see and I didn't see it. That was disappointing. Release date? I don't remember. Anything? Did they give it? I don't think so. Let's... Hold on. Look it up. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing? No release date? Won't be revealed until it's very close. Quote unquote. Alrighty then. Uh, well, I will patiently wait then. It, cool, cool that it exists. It was weird that it skipped last E3 so I'm glad we got to see it again. Yeah. Uh, next up, fourth from last. Cyberpunk? We haven't talked about Cyberpunk Oh, shit. Yet. Oops, I skipped Cyberpunk. Yeah. Cyberpunk! <laughs> <laughs> we uh, didn't mean to put this down this uh, far, yeah, actually. Yeah, I was watching the... Yeah, we did. It was it was before... Well, I mean, not this far. Was it after Last? It was right yeah, before yeah. Last of Us. Yeah. Uh, I just watched the trailer for it. Looks cool. I'm, I'm excited at the prospect of an open-world game design by the Witcher developers. Yes, yes. Open-world yes. CD Projekt Red Cyberpunk. Open-world Cyberpunk, I don't think, has ever been done before, at least on the kind of budget yeah. that CD Projekt Red is going to be working with after fucking Witcher 3, after fucking ro rolling in it <laughs> yeah, from Witcher, exactly. Witcher 3. Um, and and uh, CD Projekt Red is pretty good at making living, breathing, feeling worlds. Um, especially, like, they did it with a fantasy setting like Witcher, and they managed to make it feel pretty grounded, despite it yeah. being a fantasy setting. And, and, like, cyberpunk is, like, that's what it's all about. Cyberpunk is about providing you with a sci-fi perspective and grounding it in something that feels relevant, um, which is the, the kind of, like, uh, corporate fucking ordeals of, of modern uh, modern life in, in society. And I'm really excited to see that kind of shit express itself in a vivid um, game. In a vivid game. That was something I was really happy to see with it, is we got... Uh, fucking daytime views. Never get that shit when anyone does Cyberpunk. Yeah. You always get that Blade Runner bullshit. Fucking. And I'm not saying I don't like Blade Runner, but it's just everyone copies those Blade that Blade Runner aesthetic because it is good. Of of always nighttime, always neon. Like there, <coughs> sometimes the sun is up. Sometimes yeah. that happens, and we got to see that, and it still looks really good. And the, I uh, like the the fucking driving looks really cool. Um. Like, not necessarily in gameplay, because we didn't see any gameplay, but, yeah. like, the idea that's obviously going to be a part of it. Um, driving is... It basically looks like Cyberpunk GTA, is what it yeah. looks like it's probably going to be. Which, and I'm... That sounds that's sweet That's pretty to me. much objectively going to be cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited just just to see it. I don't really... I haven't been following it up, following it up until now. Uh, I had heard about it here and there and been like, all right, and then forgotten about it until I heard about it next. Um, so it's cool that we got to see something. Yeah. Very excited. Still not gonna happen for a long time. Yeah, not. I don't. I don't think they put a release date. Probably not till late next year, at least. I'd Wait. Uh, next up, after Last of Us, but we already did Last of Us. Kingdom Hearts three. And before talking about anything of the game, we need to talk about Madden. Madden twenty five. <laughs> a also known as Cage three. Also known as Cage three. Developed by Square Enix, Square Enix, a literal stuffed diaper of a company, a bumbling fucking mass of babies, He's fucking astounding, who delayed it millions. But speaking of, like, like we're not we're not doing like the the grading shit yet, but like, no FF seven shit, no fucking FF seven. No fucking FF7. What? A announced, bunch of babies. Announced that they would be releasing it episodically. It's fucking three years ago, dude. And nothing. So, and then they announced Kingdom Hearts 3 is finally coming to Windows 2018. They made such a big deal about it. Just to delay it until okay. 2019. It is fucking. Just don't say don't anything. Open your like, fucking I job. I genuinely think at this point that like Square Enix should have, like, like they they can put out trailers and shit as much as they want. But you don't put out a, a fucking uh, release date or release window or whatever the fuck, Square Enix, till you are done. Yeah. Because obviously you can't be trusted with it otherwise. <laughs> fuck no. Like, you're a fucking babysitter. Yeah. You bumbling fools. Um, I'm kidding. You guys are... I don't, I don't mean to sound like a dickhead. I don't want to sound like an arrogant fucking guy. I'm sure developing a game's really hard. Oh yeah, it's pretty hard. And I get fuck. that. But it's, it's, <laughs> it's also really easy to see where you are in a game... And not 
I mean, not, Fuck like, it, you know, a release date. No, it is. It is like it can be hard to say to to like see problems that are unforeseen. The thing is, is like that can be avoided if you just don't say it yet. Wait till the and very, I, very, very last minute. I get that you are that like Square Enix is under a lot of pressure on Kingdom Hearts three. Sure. Because like people want to see it released because it's been fucking fourteen years yeah. Yeah. since Kingdom Hearts two. I. And so they're under a lot of pressure to say, like, it is finally coming out, but also, they took 14 fucking years, and they never yeah. put out a release date for it in those 14 fucking exactly. years. And they revealed it, like, five years ago, and they never put out an early release date on that shit. Not so, until not until last year when they gave us the, I think, Toy Story trailer. They're like, yeah. 2018, are you guys fucking ready? <laughs> I wasn't ready! Okay, so, enough moaning. Enough whining okay. and moaning from some entitled gentleman gamers. Exactly. <laughs> I'm a gentleman gamer. I, I have love lots Jared of chinettes strapped around my hand. Arm. Uh, looks great. Look, It looks visually great. Combat looks super fucking That's the fun. thing, yeah. Now that we're done completing. Yeah. <laughs> actually, like, been kind of skeptical. Yeah. You know? Um, because, like, Kingdom Hearts... We loved Kingdom Hearts at a time where... Like, we just love different things about it. Like, I still play Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2. I know you still play Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 sometimes. Yeah. And I, I still enjoy that experience because I did enjoy that experience. Exactly. I, honestly, like, in my concept of games now, th both of those games are kind of mediocre. Kingdom Hearts yeah. 1 is kind of is, is more mediocre than Kingdom Hearts 2. Kingdom Hearts 2 did improve on some shit, like, notably. I, I played it recently. Um, and so I was kind of skeptical on, like, how I would feel about it when there's no nostalgia factor you know really totally um but this looks pretty it looks fun sweet like i'm, I'm excited uh and it's, it's to the point i watched like the one video video i don't remember who the 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 guy is who made it but it's like a 60 minute video talking about the entire lore timeline and everything of kingdom hearts i'll i'll, I'll put his video in the description because it was great uh i watched it and i was like okay it makes me more excited for 3, because I understood the story. It's still fucking stupid, immeasurably, and this looks the stupidest. That's the thing, too. Like, King Roxas still... is a person. He's yeah. in my it's, ass! It's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> he's, it still has garbage writing. That has not changed, but the, like that's also a little bit of the charm. Exactly. I'm, I'm so it's down. It's garbage fucking writing. I, it's, 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 it, it is a little bit ironic. I like it for... A, it's a, The fact that I like it is a little bit ironic, because... It has you it still, hits a lot of the notes that, you, about you, games you don't like. Exactly. You still you see you see Sora talking to this fucking red haired like edgy fucking guy in a black coat. Yeah, and, Axel, and he's Axel. like yeah, and he's like he's like so Roxas is inside of me in my mouth, and Ro Axel's like yeah, got it memorized, and then yeah, the camera sifts memorized. over and Goofy's fucking <laughs> 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 exactly. It's just like this is so fucking stupid. Our, I love it, dude. That's the thing too. Like like all right, all right. So um, we got we got to get to it anyway. Fucking yeah. uh, Pirates of the Caribbean world. Yeah. Fucking revile that part of Kingdom Hearts totally. 2. Totally. It's, it's, it's garbage. Stupid. Happened horrible. way too early in fucking horrible. the years. Um, and it's still... I still would definitely prefer that they hadn't brought it back. But relative to the rest of the game, like, compared to how King, how it was in Kingdom Hearts 2, relative to the rest of Kingdom Hearts 2, yeah, the world exactly. looks so much better. It looks great. I, I think Sora looks great with his pirate design. Yeah. They all look, they all look cool um, But design. that's the funny thing, too, is, like, there was that beach scene with all the characters, and I was picturing, like, oh, my God, it's going to be so funny if they pan over and there's fucking Goofy! Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> Adores! Oh, oh wow, um, uh, It looks great. I'm excited to play it. Uh, Combat. It, it does really have a release impressive. date now. Yeah, June Jan 29th. January, or Jan 20. January 29th. Oh, my God, yeah. if it was June 29th. Oh! A fucking year. No, no, that's this month, dude. Yes! <laughs> it's coming out this oh my month. I, I, I legit laughed my fucking butt off, dude. When you found out that When I saw way. that, I was like, you are amazing, Square Enix. So fucking You're funny. fucking incredible. This is so fucking funny, dude. Alright, I think we're done with KH3. What do you want to talk- What Bethesda big boy do you want to talk about first? I think you- uh, uh, what, what? Um, let's do- so, because I have more, I have more concrete stuff to say about Fallout, and I've got theories about Elder Scrolls. Okay. So, what do you, what do you think? Theory second. Okay. Theories are always more fun. Um, then Fallout seventy six, I, uh, I think it can be fun at this point. Like, I, they're, you know, it's on, it's on probation. Um, because, yeah. like, there's no, there's no NP, there's no NPCs. That's how they're describing yeah. it. They might just mean that there's no other humans. 
because I know for a fact that There's... every other human in game is a person, yeah. and that the NPCs are like robots or something. But if I recall, they said no NPCs, which means any of the quests are like Skyrim, uh, like evolutionary kind of quests that just come out in the game. Like there's an engine that produces them. Yo. <clears throat> And there's no, like, story to them or anything. So you can play it and you can make shit by yourself. But without other people, there's no, like, there's no point. There's no, there's nothing specifically you're doing. So if I get some friends and shit and, and like, they all want to play it, like, that that'll that might be cool. Um, but, like, they have the same problems to, to handle uh, that any other online game does. They have to deal with griefing. They have to deal with end games. Um, I mean, griefing is, the honestly, the biggest one. Uh, and I've seen some ways that they've that they seem to try to turn that back, and I'm, I'm appreciative of that. Of that, uh, Some of it includes what I believe to be a bounty system that we saw in the trailer. Yeah. Um, where I, that like the guy killed someone, he got a cap reward for it. I think um, that might be implying like a kind of, uh, you know, enforced kind of karma where when you're too big of an asshole, uh, like basically a, a, a server message says like, hey, this guy's an asshole, you get paid for killing him. I love that. Um, and I love that if that's the case. Yeah. I really like that. Uh, second, a lot of people were moaning about the nukes. A lot yeah. of people were moaning about the nukes. I wasn't clear on them. How do they yeah. work? So, the, exactly. That's the, the, no okay. one paid attention. <laughs> no one paid attention. Um, so, the way that they work is uh, you have to get them from high-end boss fights across the map. Um, it's a dice roll, whether it drops from a boss fight... Uh, and it's only from, like, certain, you know, like, like above a certain level. Uh, so it can drop or it, or it might, or it might not. Um, and there's no guarantee that, like, you will get all of the pieces to any single nuke code. So they mentioned in the thing, like, you might have to trade with people or, like, get people together, find a reason that they will give you all the nuke codes. Because it's likely that you, as a single person, unless you or a group are campaigning and grinding specifically for nuke codes, it is unlikely that you will get all of it, especially when there's going to be, you know, at least, like, 30 other people on the server that are probably going to be doing the same thing. Uh, so it's a lot of dice rolls to, gotcha. to try to get all the nu nuclear codes. Then you can go. You have to break into the actual nuclear silo itself, which is its own fucking, like, dungeon yeah. raid. Yeah. Uh, and you utilize the nuke codes, and you can hit preset locations. So, like, you know how in Fallout, you or you played Fallout 4, you can fast travel to specific locations? Yeah. Um, you can hit those same fast travelable kind of locations, not just okay. anywhere. Gotcha. Um, and I think, you know, if this is true, this is really cool. I think any, all of the locations have a regular version and a nuked version. Yeah. And it does return to regular after after like a day or something, I would presume. Yeah, and, like and, the, and the, forty-eight hours. And something. they talked about how there's a lot of um, rad. Is that what they're called? Rads. When, yeah, rads. rads in the. So like, not only do you have to nuke this place, like do all that shit to nuke it, but in order to actually get there and loot it, you yeah. have to fucking be yeah. super prepared. And, and it basically turns it into like a high-end, um, like raid location. Uh, yeah. For a while, and I. Uh, people were really worried about the capacity for that to be used for griefing and um what is like, griefing griefing is griefing is in online games when you're, you're just being an asshole to someone like destroying their shit finding them over uh, okay. and over, killing them you know yeah um people were really worried about nukes capacity to be used for just like getting them over and over and destroying someone's fucking settlement uh but you can like i said you can only nuke those areas you only nuke in a small area around those specific locations. Um, so you ha the person's settlement will have to be near enough to one of those locations. You have to know that it's there. Um, and, like, that's going to be hard on its own, in given that the the map is four times the size of Fallout 4's. Yeah. Uh, and also, not, like, w the thing that, like, really excites me about the settlement building, in relation to griefing is that all settlements are movable and reconstructable based on a save point. So you have a, a module oh. in-game. You can put, like, you remember in Fallout 4, you can build at certain yeah. places. Um, you can build anywhere on the map, first of all. Uh, and that. second, um, you can basically go to this little nodule and save the setup of your settlement okay. at some point and then presumably if it because it, like there has to be some kind of consequences for like like being in a vulnerable enough place or being weak yeah. enough to get destroyed you can then go back to it 
and reload a settlement and presumably it'll rebuild over the course mm -hmm. of like a couple hours or something using up some resources so you don't have to replan a settlement every yeah. time you do okay. it okay that's super um, fair i think and i think that yeah that's fine like it still creates consequences for because i want there to if i'm going to be doing pvp shit um I want there to be consequences. I don't think there necessarily has to be PvP stuff. I could have been satisfied with a Fallout 76 that was solely PvE. Um, but I think that in these kind of games, providing PvP provides the kind of emergent gameplay that will keep it alive for longer. You know? Um, it, like, you know, people give Ark and Rust a lot of shit for a good reason. And GTA 5 online for a good reason. Um, a lot of griefing, a lot of garbage there. But also, those people are still there for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> True. Um... And I, I, I think that they're, like, it looks like it's going to be handled pretty well. I, I, what I question is whether the, the engine can handle that kind of shit. Because Fallout yeah. 4, like, it, it has significantly better shooting than, than Fallout 3 or New Vegas. But it's still not exactly a shooter. You know, still yeah. not quite as tight of an experience yeah, totally. as a real shooter. I get you. Um, so I question whether the engine can handle that. That's a good point. Um... I'm I'm super excited to just like buy it, hop in with like you and probably a couple of our, of our friends whenever yeah. we want to build up a cool settlement. Like just, that's just fuck I'm around. So fun! Yeah. I'm so excited, dude, because like in Fallout Four, I would build these massive sprawling settlements. Like I plan them out. I would have like there there was one thing at at the castle in Fallout Four. I was really I like really liked where I had like I had a courtyard and um it was like. Before before the actual gate, I had a courtyard just ringed by automated laser turrets at the top and just bright spotlights down into it. And it was a two-stage entry system where you let, like, the idea was to, like, let in a trading caravan into the first courtyard um, and, uh, like, turn turn off the, the, the laser stuff and then, like... Like you know, because none of this can actually happen in Fallout 4. Yeah. Um, if they were some, if they were to be aggressive, like you turn on the laser shit and they just get fucking destroyed in the courtyard, or if they're fine, you then open up the second like like powered gate and they can go all the way through. Um, and, and now I was you really, won't have like, to RP that. Exactly. Like that's actually, just something yeah. that can actually happen now. Sick. Like there's Super someone sick. to actually see and use the things that you make. Like it really, really puts so much more gravitas. Exactly. To settlements. I, I, th I think that's a good point. Like you. Because there's, there's stuff you build and you, you know that, like, no computer can fucking possibly... Computer-controlled com character could possibly be... Interact with way. it the way that you yeah. want to, yeah. But, like, just fucking humans? You don't, you don't know. They're you just, gonna, have to be able, gonna... just have to be able to predict humans. Exactly. Um, and the thing is, too, dude, like, people... People get really upset about it and, like, I, it feels a little entitled to me. Because... Yeah. The, the thing is, if this was Bethesda Game Studios that made this game... I would, at this point, even despite the fact that I'm hesitantly positive about this game, I, I would still be upset, because I would be like, why the fuck are you wasting your time on this shit? There are so many other things, like, I like not even just Elder Scrolls 6 or Fallout 5 or whatever, but Starfield. Skyrim 6. Or, 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 Skyrim 6, you're right. Oh you're shit, we didn't write Starfield on here. Oh, that's true. Yeah, good point. Uh, we'll do that too. Fuck. I, 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 but it's not. Bethesda Game Studios did not make this. This was a separate developer. Oh, really? That, yeah, it's being just being pub. But it's being published by Bethesda. Yeah. Not being developed by Bethesda Game Studios. Okay. So I don't care. Yeah. Like, who it, the fuck cares? Yeah. Whatever. S same thing with Pokemon Let's Go and stuff. It's the yeah. same principle. Like, yeah. You, you're Doesn't still matter. It you're fucking... It's just a free fucking thing. If you don't like it, then or not free. Like not. Yeah, you it's, know, it's, like it's not. You're like, not. You're not sacri It's not. It's not filling a slot. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be right back. Let me get some water, and then we can. And then we can. Uh. Okay, StarCraft. StarCraft. StarPoint. Star Trek. Star... What's it called? Whales? Star Whales? Starlink. Star Wars. Star... Starfield. Star... Fucking joke is over, dude. What is it called? Starfield. Oh, I thought you were joking. No, it's Starfield. That's gay. Gay. <laughs> like... <laughs> gay. What? Um, gay. So, hey. Starfield is cool. I, I the end. <laughs> the end. We're out. We're done. <laughs> We're done. Uh, <laughs> it's basically Starfield just going to be an extension cool. of that for a few yeah. minutes. I, I, this is the first thing they said it. You know, I'm just repeating what they said. This is not like an analysis or anything. But this is the first original thing that Bethesda has made 
Bethesda Game Studios, again, because, you know, there's the publisher and the developer. Yep. Um, that Bethesda has made in 25 years. The last original idea that they had prior to this was the first Elder Scrolls. Elder Scrolls Arena. Damn. So, that, and that is 1993. Was the Holy last, shit! Was the last, like, purely original idea that they oh. had. They bought Fallout from Obsidian. Um, so, and, they, you know, they started up Fallout 3. Um, it's a brand new IP. Looks like probably going to be a space, space, space epic, sci-fi epic. I'm really excited to see that because yeah. up to this point, like, the king of sci-fi RPGs was Mass Effect. Like, like bar none, um, I would say. Maybe KOTOR can, can, can give it a run for its money uh, or something like that. But, I like, personally, I think it's the king of Western sci-fi RPGs. And I would love to see how Bethesda is going to unseat them because they will because people will suck Bethesda's dick yeah. for any reason just Especially like me <laughs> I'm going to suck their dick I mean that's fair Mass Effect's gone it's yeah, just fucking it's wiped yeah, Andromeda it's Andromeda was the wet wipe that wiped its ass but also <laughs> the wet wipe was still made it was of shit sandpaper yeah, yeah. Um, and so I'm, re I'm really excited to see yeah, how they do me that me too I, also what was the other thing about Starfield there was one other thing besides the 25 years thing Star Wars no not that <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, I, I am a little disappointed, <laughs> because I, and I knew that, the, I like I said, I, I've said this before, I wasn't hoping, um, I wasn't expecting, it was just a dream of a dream, that Starfield was going to be a sci-fantasy, yes, <laughs> it was going to be sci-fantasy Elder Scrolls, it was going to take place in the future of Elder Scrolls, because we already uh, have lore okay. for the Elder Scrolls, yeah. we, have, we have lore for what happens like thousands of years in the Elder Scrolls future. I was hoping we were going to get, like, sci-fantasy, uh, fucking epic Elder Scrolls, like, Dwemer spaceships, fucking, like, uh, the Altmer, uh, like, wispy elven ships fighting the, the, like, big, um, angry, brutalist human design of Empire spaceships, shit like be that. That'd wild. be sweet, yeah. yeah. Uh, but it's not that, and that's fine, because that was not a reasonable yeah. act. Is that your theory for Scar for Skyrim no. 6, then? No. What no, not at all. Um, all right, we're done. That Skyrim six. Yep. Skyrim six. Skyrim yes. eight. Fourteen. Fourteen. You, we said that at the same time. It was the same time, bro. Dude, Jinx, one, two, three, fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> um, Elder Scrolls six. I'm I I'm obviously excited. I like again. I will suck with this dick for any reason. Um. I. Well, actually, actually, before that, I think let's just say like I. I, I don't really want to have a big discussion about it, but uh, Elder Scrolls Blades. Oh yeah, looks pretty oh, nice yeah. for a mobile game. I was I was. It it's does. Free. It certainly it's does. Free. And it's free. And so it's free. fine. Uh, very. You know, it's obviously free to play. You know, yeah. it's it's. Oh yeah, it's a yeah. it's a free mobile game. There's going to be some kind of monetization. I said, what when <laughs> they when they showed the the phone the Keegan Michael Keel. Oh, no, oh, is that okay. Keel or Key? Keegan Michael Key. Keegan Michael. I said Keel. <laughs> Keel Hall Key. Keegan Michael Keel. Key. Fuck! Keegan Michael Key. Because, uh, that, that skit, which was funny. Yeah. And then I was like, uh huh, that's funny. And now they're gonna and show then they Elder Scrolls. Yeah, yeah, and I was like, oh? Elder Scrolls Blades. <laughs> and they showed it at the end, but yeah. Anyway. Um, six. No, they they honestly just should have waited to show that. Like, uh, Absolutely. Uh, also, though, just real quick Todd Howard, such a charismatic guy. Such like, a boy. He's, yeah, he's, he really made that fucking thing work. Um, but. Uh, not Elder Scrolls Blades. He's not what made that work. The only reason that that's that I'm not angry about that is that I wasn't expecting Elder Scrolls Six for that E3. So yeah. the fact that it showed up at all was nice, and I was just like, at least there'll be some some wet wipes for my for my, <laughs> for my dry <laughs> Elder Scrolls list tum tum. Yes. Um. I but Elder Scrolls Six. I obviously really excited. It, all we got was a it was a teaser trailer. The title. So screen. it was just it, that was just. Bethesda saying like shut, shut the, the fuck, fuck up. up we're making it <laughs> Christ <laughs> exactly uh, um, we finally we, we're, we finally got confirmation I would assume 2020 maybe 2021 uh, it's gonna come out next generation I would I was I would you guess. think so yes yeah absolutely hmm. absolutely I don't know I don't know if because that Fallout 76 supporting Fallout 76 and Starfield Starfield is guaranteed to come out first they've said it Oh really? Yes, they are putting okay. out Starfield first. Before, I can see that. Then. I don't see. I don't see the next generation starting until like 2021. Mm, you're wrong because that was actually something I forgot to bring up. Uh, Xbox announced that their next generation console is happening in 2020. Oh fuck. Yeah. 
Sony, so, Sony said a similar thing, but they said at the at the earliest 2020. Xbox. So now it for sure is <laughs> yeah. because of Xbox. Because they have to. Yeah, they can't. Damn, already? Xbox. Yeah, exactly. It feels like so soon. Well, no, dude, that's it's not really. Right, right, but hold it, on, it feels hold like on, soon. Hold on. We'll have this whole conversation because this is a whole thing. I like. I wanted to say. I figured I was gonna wait until later. Okay. Um, but I. It looks like where it's gonna be. Uh, it looks like the mountain ranges in High Rock, which is the provinces that the Breton race come from in the universe, which is just west of Skyrim. Like, it is touching Skyrim on the west, I think. Well, actually, I think Skyrim would be touching Hammerfell, and there's, like, a small little isthmus between between the two. Um, but if it's in High Rock, uh, it might even include Hammerfell as well. Uh, Hammerfell is where the Red Guards come from in, in the universe. Personally... Um, these aren't settings that I was super excited to see. I don't even know that much in universe about what they look like because they're not one of the more iconic settings. Like elsewhere, big desert, crazy cat people, uh, black marsh, big swamp, crazy lizards and trees that talk. You True. know, like you get Valenwood. All the cities are on trees that move. Like you get yeah. shit like that in those other in those other kind of like places. Hammerfell and High Rock, all I really know about that, like, it seems like it's more like Oblivion's kind of style, more classic medieval fantasy from what I know about it. Um, but it makes sense because the, like, projected, uh, objective of the Thalmor in Skyrim is, of the, of the Dominion, um, is to, uh, destroy the world. I don't know if I've talked to you about this. They want to destroy the planet because they do, they're right about this. They're just not right about what it will do. Um, they believe that they are gods, because they are. Uh, everyone is. Yeah. Every, everyone in the Elder Scrolls universe is descended from basically just gods that s sat on the planet until they became mortal. Oh, um, shit. And so the Thalmor are trying to destroy the planet because they think that the planet is what made them mortal, and without it, they will reascend. Um... They're almost certainly wrong, and they'll just kill everybody, <laughs> uh, and, including themselves. Yes, <laughs> and there are a, like a, a bunch of basically like pinions, like spikes in in the planet, um, called the towers, capital T, that hold it together, that like keep okay. the crust of the planet on the planet, um, and they have been going around destroying them. Uh, they. Uh, the reason that they were fucking around in Skyrim is that the throat of the world, the mountain, is one of the towers. Um, the the tower in uh, White Gold City, which is the, the the capital of the Empire, which they raised, was a tower. Um, and there is another tower in High Rock. Uh, so like, if we do actually continue on this storyline, because normally Elder Scrolls games don't take place immediately after one another, like there's usually like a couple hundred years between them. Um, it's probably gonna be in High Rock. I uh, almost none of that was for you. You don't I know. care. <laughs> but I, mean, I found it yeah. interesting. But the fuck, can I say? Yeah. I just have to be like, okay, yeah, I trust right. you. <laughs> sure, nice. No, I, I'm the lore is cool. I do not want to invest the time, but I do I've respect you for doing it. Yeah, yeah. Um, is that it? So you got? Yeah, I don't. I don't. Like, I don't. I have I'm, nothing I'm, about I'm like gameplay just, or anything. Yeah. You know. I'm just I I might not even grab it. I probably will, but like I'm just pumped to see what it is. That's like how legendary Skyrim was. Exactly. Not even quality wise, I don't know, but like I mean I played it and it was fun. It's it's monolithic like, in the RPG community. Yeah, yeah, you know? it's 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 a huge deal. And the Elder Scrolls series is a huge deal and we've been waiting a long time. So that's cool. <laughs> Next up I wanna talk about a yes. game in uh, the newest entry in a game series very dear to my heart. Man. It has existed for for years. A lot of years. Like 20 years. I love all the games. It has... Each one includes just this, this giant roster of different personalities. From a lot of different... Places. All... Working together or... Or playing against each other. In a different variety of ways, but usually the same way in each game. This game, of course, being Madden, Madden. NFL 2019. Bringing it back. We, you, you, thought, you thought we fucking tricked you when we said uh, that it was coming at the beginning and that was all we had to say about it? No. No, no. It's fucking Madden. It's the, the biggest news. 
the biggest football in the world. <laughs> in this Madden, you fight with the biggest football in the world. It's got feet. It's got hands. <laughs> it's got feet. It's got ball. What else do you need? That's, that's, that's all the name is. <laughs> so, I'm really curious about how they're going to up, update Madden 19. Um, I think that they're going to make the every quarterback look like Mario. Mama Mario. And I think they're going to make every running back look like Luigi. And I think they're going to make every uh, safety look like Bowser. And I think they're going to make every uh, 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 linesbacker, linebacker, linebacker. They're, they're going to make him look like uh, Donkey Kong. <laughs> Fucking smash, baby! Woo! This was the fucking year of Woo! fucking smash. Okay, I got a lot to say. I got a lot to say and not much to say. Not... No, I got a lot to say, not much to say, not much to say, not much to say. Stop it, fucking honey. Uh, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Not for Wii U, not for 3DS. Ultimate. It has a fucking what? name. I don't like the name. You don't like Ultimate? No, because it's not a word for a fight. I get that, but it's also, there's another thing, it's like, I see this, I th I'm really, really s split right now, because like, I hear a lot of people saying, this is a new game, this is Smash 5, um, and a lot of people saying, this is a celebration of the entire series, this is Smash 4, but with basically all the rest of the series piled on top of yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, and I pretty much agree with both. I think the latter... Oh, fuck! Every time I think about it, it changes. Because, like, there's so many character changes to the characters' animations, to the, to, the, to their designs, to, like, DK new looks... Tech. New, a new tech. A lot of new tech, like the fucking uh, air dodging, like, wave dashing could be back. Uh, perfect shielding's different. There's a bunch of new stages, a bunch of new music, has a new main theme. Pretty much the only thing it shares with Smash 4 is the engine. That's it. And some stages... And so far... And which, we talked a little about this before. Like I said, like it, it not having an, a new engine isn't necessarily that weird at this point in video game development. Well, that's true, but I, it's just it's just Nintendo standard. Uh, like when like when Mario Gal whenever Mario shares an engine, it's because it's a direct sequel, like Mario Galaxy Two or the new Super Mario Bros. series. Uh, pretty much anything like Zelda games, almost all have different engines, unless they're in the like direct sequels, like yeah. Majora's Mask to Ocarina of Time. Uh, so it's 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 weird for sure, and it's it's just the standard that Nintendo has built for itself. Um, and I get that. I get if I, I I see it more as like if you're a casual fan and you're you're someone who's there for the hype train because it's just fucking awesome to be on, awesome to see all the new characters just because you know Nintendo because of course you do, uh, and you just play it a little bit with uh, parties and stuff. Yeah, and yeah I, I totally get why you'd be like, man, we don't you know we don't get to see a bunch of new characters and stuff. I I totally get that. Yeah. Um, but as a hardcore Smash fan. Just a little tiniest I, change. This is functionally like this is functionally a, new characters to me, right? Like, exactly. Like Pichu is gonna be completely different. Ganondorf has a redesign. I still don't. I still don't. Why would you choose Pichu over Pikachu? Is my question. Uh, Pikachu stronger. Pichu, you mean? Pichu stronger, yeah. Okay. Pichu stronger, but damage. they do damage. Okay. Okay. Things, yeah. Um, like Mario. Mario looks different. Mario. Uh, he has a bit of a rework. Rework. Uh, Ice climbers are back. Pichu's back. Ganondorf has his melee slash Ocarina of Time and like design, and he has like his all his uh, smash tech uses sword. Link has his Breath of the Wild design. Zelda has his Link Between Worlds. Three link fucking links. Yeah. Three fucking links with uh, with <laughs> Young Link being back, which is ridiculous. Just so many little changes that are so going to change links. everything. So many well, so many little changes that are going to change fucking like everything about how the game works, and I, and like. I'm not, ex and the thing is, I'm not excited for it for the same reasons that I'm excited for Smash, new Smashes usually. Because new Smashes, it's like, it's all new. I'm excited to just, just open up this present and see what it is. This is just like, I just have everything that I love packed into this fucking box. Yeah. There's so much other shit sprinkled in there, and I can't wait to fucking dive in. Because there's going to be so much fucking content. There's going to be like 70 the, fucking this characters. This was a big constipated nostalgia dookie from, from Nintendo pretty, yeah, pretty much. your chest. And, yeah. and like, oh my god, and like the fucking new theme's great and, and all the new effects look great, like the smoke trail when they get hit. All uh, the, the, the menus are redesigned. They look fucking awesome. There's a new thing that if you Usually, the the move that kills somebody or a really strong move will make it go slow mo and zoom in yeah, on I you. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, which is fucking rad. And oh, there's so. How do you much feel about cool the shit. changes to 
uh, the the Ultimate Smash or whatever the fuck it's called. Final Smash. Right Final Smash. I'm perfectly fine with it because like, like the changes so that there's like there's no. There's no, like, transformation smash Smashes, where you just get to yeah, control yeah, them and fuck them up. everything is generally the same kind of style. Exactly. It's yeah. pretty much like, it's like you catch them in a thing and a cutscene plays. Because I, I was kind of torn on it a little bit personally because I love the idea of the transformation oh. smashes. Yeah. Like, the totally. idea, super cool. That. But in execution, I feel like they, like, were so often less usable than than the other ones. Yeah. Like, for, like for example, like, Gigamac such a powerful motherfucker like so much damage but you also only got to be him for like nine seconds and you it's also not still that had to, hard to get away and you also still had to play as little mac yeah, he still jumped as well exact, as little exactly. mac so it was like okay and so like like other people it, you just had to have someone be in front of you yeah. when you smashed whereas like that you had to like it was so much more difficult to like do anything useful with it so i like i loved the idea of the transformations but like i feel like them being gone yeah maybe that is for the better you know? I, I totally agree. Um, I'm, I'm like, oh, like Donkey Kong's used to be the barrel beat one where you yeah. press A to the rhythm. And now it's just like, he fucking walks up to it and beats the, the shit. shit. I yeah. fucking love it. In general. I'm a fucking gorilla, yes. remember? <laughs> and fucking beats them into the fucking dirt. And I, I love it so much. Uh, I, and, and before this game was shown today, recording it like the, on the Tuesday right after Nintendo's thing. Uh, I was like, please, like, you know, you know, Link's gonna get a redesign. Mario's probably gonna have Cappy. I want DK to look a lot more like he does in Returns and Tropical Freeze, because right now he looks like a fucking hairy gorilla, and I don't like that that very much. Yeah. I like it; he's my one of my mains. But now he's all fucking cartoony. He looks all cartoony, and so does Diddy. And I, that's good. That's I was good. so happy. I was, but wait, I don't remember. Does he have the same voice? I don't remember. I, I don't remember he, either. I think he does, which is a little disappointing. I still like the fucking. <laughs> like the yeah, fucking yeah. gorilla screams, but I really like his <laughs> like fucking stupid voice. Um, who was also Ganondorf? I can't remember. <laughs> did I? Uh, did Cappy? Did, did Mario get any Cappy possession? I notes? no, he did not. No? I think Cappy's just a tilt, and okay. he, and if it, and, and he's his, just throwing the cap, it, it, or not a tilt, a taunt. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, and he just like his eyes pop up on because it was it was most definitely they were like Odyssey exists, and then Sakurai was like. Nah, fuck. <laughs> and oh, put his eyes on the hat during a taunt shit. and shit. But a lot of characters have new taunts. They have redesigns. They look different. As Sakurai mentioned, dude, Kirby. Wow, Kirby. Oh, and yeah. Like, at this yeah. point. Like, Jesus. Fucking Christ. Fuck that. It's like 66 versions <laughs> Yeah, of all Kirby. different fucking B-moves. Fucking and different ridiculous. Heads. It's pretty insane. I bet, like, they probably made the first one, like, this is cute. It made it's Melee, and it was only, like, uh, seven more characters. And they're like, all right, Brawl. Oh, but God. then it became like so Smash central. Four, yeah. like, oh fuck, that's fifty five characters. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, and the two newcomers, other than fucking Daisy. Oh, let's well, talk about let's, that for a little bit. Uh, yeah, let's echo echo. Yeah, heroes. they introduced Echo Hero Heroes, which is such a great sign of them listening to people, because like people were like, "These are fucking clones." Like, what the fuck, Sekra? You wasted a slot. And then he yeah. said, "No, that doesn't mean I wasted a slot. That just means I basically means I maximize my time." Because instead of making like half a half of a full character, like I wouldn't have had time to make a full I, character. I changed another character, exactly, like, and to someone who's conceptually similar to them in their game. Exactly, yeah. and brought and brought them brought new support from other games, uh, and so I appreciate him being like, yeah, yeah, they're clones. I'm not you know, obviously he's not gonna call them fucking clones because that's like yeah. a, such a stigma now that that word. Um, so they're fucking Echo characters with a little E next to them, and and Daisy's an Echo of Peach, which I think is smart. Yeah. For Daisy to be an Echo of Peach, but also Peach isn't fucking great. Honestly, she's not. She's a fun character to play as, but she's not a good. I mean, character. I've, de I've definitely been, been fucked up by some good Peach players. Before. Peach is yeah, Peach is like yeah. well, you can be fucked up by anybody. It's good, yeah. but like Peach just isn't that all around of original character. Also, something I noticed about Peach's new move set: her grab, she'll grab him, and Toad appears, and uh, her pummel while she's grabbing is Toad beating the fuck out of him, and your throw is That's Toad funny. like <laughs> punching him. Like, there's so many little things like that, yeah. that, like, we don't have the time to make a shit ton of new characters, but we'll spice all of these characters up so much. And I love that. And, I, and again, if, it, if this was, like, Smash 5, of course I'd be more excited. But as of now, I'm fucking pumped. Question before we, get to, before we get to new people. Are there any returning characters that you wish hadn't returned? And, had and like, the, the effort to return them had instead been used on new characters? Um, okay... I'm gonna say no, 
uh, just because not it's and it's not because I like all the characters, but just because that they wouldn't have that hype fucking slogan. Of all, yeah. Everybody's ba- like all the point, Smash yeah. characters. But That's I fucking hate Wolf. Right. Yeah, I no, I saw him and I was like, do we need another one of those? Uh, he's a little he's he's different enough from Fox and them, but he's a fucking asshole and I hate playing against Wolf. So it's just salt. Fuck him though. <laughs> I wish we got Gay. I wish we got Slippy Toad instead of fucking Wolf. That's how much uh, I. That would have been sweet. I know it's Slippy Toad. It's yeah. silly. It's stupid. All right, new characters: Inkling and, and Inkling and Big Boy. I. Too Inkling, big boy. I like the I like the mechanic. Yeah. Well, of, I, the the of the, the inking paint? the stage yeah, and inking yeah. the characters. Well, a lot of people were theorizing that, and it was like that's way too much work. That's not gonna happen. Uh, plus, it kind of gives the Inkling like an art art uh, aesthetic advantage you know like it looks like they just have more control because everything's yeah. their color yeah that's what you know that's what i was thinking and why it wouldn't happen but it did happen and i think it works all, really well i think especially because uh all of their moves don't do it yeah it's only oh, and also like the fact that you have to like constantly um reload your yeah. paint and like you you have to go to those specifically painted areas like i like that paint thing is a powerful thing and like the uh, wait, like painting someone to, to up your damage, and also like that kind of aesthetic control, that like psychological uh, mind game that you could play, exactly. coloring an entire thing is powerful. But I feel like they are inconvenienced by those same moves. Totally, way, yeah. Know, that's that just, it's just a, for it. it's the same with Olimar, who has this crazy range and can fucking do tons of damage from far away, but all of his ammunition can be fucking destroyed easily. Yeah. <laughs> so he has to like go run away and pick his Pikmin, um, and that's super. And, and she, they look interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to play them. Uh, off of the like, cause, cause you said two new big boys, didn't you? Yeah. But we only got one new big boy. Really? Yeah. Like I was including Inklings. I meant like in general, like oh, new characters. Oh, oh, okay. I thought you meant yeah. big boys like heavies. No, okay, no. Yeah. Um, so to refill your ink as Inkling, you shield and press B, and I would be kind of disappointed if they brought Pokemon Trainer back and took away Charizard's down B, because Charizard was his own character in four uh and his down and he had a down b because in brawl he was part of the pokemon traders and his down b made him switch pokemon yeah so i hope in this game he still has his down b and you press shield and press b to switch so pokemon sw- swap yeah because then you could still have basically three full characters just yeah. with the pokemon trainer yeah. um and because there's no reason not to now other than just, now that that's like a st- an established exactly. mechanic like, that a, you can like an shield established and button combination yeah, yeah. So I don't think they're going to, but I, it's gonna feel wasted now that they're, that that the Inklings can do that. Um, all right, and then Ridley the boy. Fucking, I'm pretty I'm pr- fucking yeah. excited, dude. First of all, for a tank. Yeah. Uh, what you see, he, he is. He, yeah, he, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. A tank and a villain. That he's our third tank, villain. Tank, a villain. Um, also like a flying tank. Yeah. Like a, like a pretty vertically mobile tank. Like other than Charizard, he'll be the only. Yeah, exactly. Uh, oh, and Dedede. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, yeah, true, Yeah, Dedede's a fat, yeah. flying bitch. Um, and the, the, the moveset, like, it, I, it, it wasn't as kind of lustrous as I think some of the other characters are. Like, it didn't have quite as much uh, pizzazz For as sure. some of the other yeah. characters. But it was, it's fucking brutal. Yeah. Like the move the where thing. he like charges and stabs your tail into you and you're like, Ugh. Massive fucking yeah, damage and, like, and no movement. Stunned. Like yeah. that is so powerful. Dude, the fucking trailer was rad. How he like picked off, did you see the trailer? Yeah, with yeah. Him? Picked off Mega Man and picked off Mario yeah. and he's like twirling his hat on his fucking head. I was like, it's really oh my god. I, um, the, the fucking uh, hitting him while he's charging the fireball thing. That is gnarly. Yeah, yeah. I'm wondering, like, if that's is that's like really punishing. How much damage must his charged fireballs do? If that's totally. like, if that's the punishment you're giving him for like letting someone hit exactly. him during that time. It's interesting. Um, it, I'm like, does one? How much damage does one Mario fireball do? Like four percent. Yeah, probably. so it's probably, it's probably not going to be like that. Maybe like, I I would assume it's going to yeah. be equitable if you land all of them to like probably a charge D to D hit. You know, like a charge down B D to D hit or yeah. something. Um, um, not as much knockback with the damage. Yeah. I also find it interesting that um, they 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 are very clearly turning around from their brawl days. First of all, the game looks faster, like very much so. Not very much so, but noticeably in, in so pace, from four. I assume you mean not in running. Like not in... Maybe also running, just yeah. in general, like moving. Just seems looks at least a little bit faster from uh, from Smash Four, and that's what I've been hearing from people who have been playing it at the, on the show floor too. Um, but also there's, there's a, there's a very clear defined difference between 1v1s and 
free for alls now because you do oh yeah more damage in one one yeah. one yeah to, to or make less it damage still... one damage more no, damage more more. more more yeah um because because when there's more people yeah. you're more you're likely to get hit more often yeah. You, yeah um and I, I like that a lot. It, it's, Me too. it provides the same kind of like. It makes it feel like two individual modes rather than like, yeah. oh, I'm just. This is a for free for all game, but I'm I'm taking advantage and playing one v one. Yeah. Um, um, it is you know that there are only being two people, two new people is disappointing for me because I was really really excited to see Rob Schneider as the animal. Dude, Rob Schneider's the animal. Where was he, dude? <laughs> Where the fuck was Where he? Where was he at, dude? That's a Nintendo IP. Yeah, either, yeah, exactly. Either that they or fucking. That. I mean, there's a video game in Japan. There was actually a tie-in video game. I'm not fucking joking, dude. Are you serious? There was a tie-in Rob Schneider's The Animal For video game. In Japan, in Japan. only? No. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking... <laughs> Freak! You got my hopes up! I was like, there's no way he would not have mentioned this for us to play if it was real. <laughs> um, we'll wrap it up here. With one question. I mean, uh, I still want to... I still want... We, we want to grade the... Oh, fuck. I forgot about that. Holy fuck. It should, it should be relatively quick, I think. It's not really yeah. okay, okay. about it. But, uh, so, one question with Smash. Uh, do I, I am also disappointed with, you know, pretty much inherently. Like, no matter what, you're going to be disappointed with only two new characters. Yeah. Excluding fucking Daisy. Because um, no animal. Both the Muppets Animal and Rob Schneider's. <laughs> um, do you think there's going to be more before the game comes out? DLC. No, not, not DLC. Oh, like new, De I think definitely DLC. Yeah, obviously. But DLC. there's like five months from here until the game comes out, and they they haven't detailed modes. They haven't detailed online. They haven't detailed like a lot. I would say I'd say it's possible, but I would I would say like if so, not more than one or two. Because like I'm thinking, you have to remember how much more work has to go into making each character yeah. when there's this many characters because you have to try to, to make balance different... each person yeah, and exactly. against 65 other characters. I know, I totally I totally yeah. agree. Um, uh, I think two also. And I'm perfectly fine with that. Like, yeah. if we get... We're not getting Waluigi. Definitely not. Like, he was an assist trophy. Yeah. They showed him. I f they definitely showed him to, like... There's another character that I thought was... I was like, damn, why is he an assist trophy? I can't remember who Bomberman? Maybe. Uh, Snake's back. That's fucking sick. That's pretty fucking cool. Yeah. Look at this fucking roster, dude. It's, it's pretty sweet. It's fucking it's pretty insane. Sweet. That's the thing too. Like even if they don't add two new characters, exactly, it's still fun. Like there's there's cool. still other shit to smash other than characters. Yeah, like, new stages and just new game feel. Um, and plus, like, look at look at who I made in Smash Four. I made fucking Mario, Donkey Kong, who were both in the first Smash, and DDD, who was in Brawl. Yeah. So I don't I don't even usually main main uh, new characters anyway, just because. I'm, I've gotten good at those. Uh, I might main Ridley though. Ridley looks fun. Uh, yeah, I definitely want to fuck around with Ridley. Uh, but yeah, Smash. I'm super stoked for Smash. I'm fucking ready. I'm ready for to for the tr ready for Freddy. I think I think ready they're gonna have. Reggie. I think they're gonna have like two more directs before now yeah. and the game comes out, and they're gonna end both of them with a new character. I'm calling it right now. Who do you think it's gonna be? I don't know. <laughs> you know I don't know enough about Nintendo IPs or associate IPs yeah. to, to say that kind of stuff. I don't really know either. I thought, I, I mean... Ridley's a great choice. I, Ridley and, and, Splat, and Splatoon person. Or... I mean, if fucking KH was like any kind no, advertised boy. itself at all on Nintendo consoles, yeah. I'd say maybe that bit to like get some hype for cage but well, like, it doesn't like it, it doesn't consider itself like and we'll it's settle we'll related settle all to yeah. Final fantasy but like that's about all they got we'll settle all four on shrek fiona donkey and lord farquaad yeah Sound good the, we'll, we'll settle it on the entire roster of the shrek 2 video <laughs> <laughs> all right guys uh, uh thanks for listening thanks for watching listen listening uh catch you next time what, what do you what, what do you guys say billy uh, I'm, 